What's up guys, and today we got Team of the Week, Marcus Mariota, 85 overall, ankle breaker, chemistry. 6 foot 4, 86 speed, 84 awareness, 86 throw mid, 90 throw on the run, 80 play action, 89 throw short, 87 throw power, and 78 deep throw. Now I know when you think of this card, you think of the 84 spin move, the 87 juke, uh, juke move. The temptation is there to want to do all that, I get it. But don't ignore the 60 carry rating, man. That will bite you in the ass. Fight the temptation. I said it so many times before, but I'll get more, um, you know, more into detail later on in the review. But as you see here, the short throw, as you would expect, man, no problem, no bad short throw. So, if your scheme, <clears throat> if your scheme revolves around the short throw, believe me, Marcus Mariota will not let you down. You see right here, a nice little touch pass to Will Fuller on the slant. And the same thing goes for the mid throw, you know, very dependable. However, there were times when I would throw the mid ball and sometimes he would throw it a little too far to the left or to the right and the receiver would have to lean forward or sometimes even jump for the ball and dive on the ground for it. So even though the pass was not uncatchable, it could have been thrown a bit better. That's really the only criticism on the mid throw that I saw. And the deep throw, 87 throw power and 78 deep throw. It's not the best rating, but as you see here, it does not mean that it's impossible. He can throw a deep pass accurately, as you see here. Even though this is technically where he did str uh, struggle a bit. But the 87 throw power, you see, he can absolutely throw it down the field even though he only has an 87 throw power. But of course, his highest selling point, of course, is his speed. His ability to take off and scramble and get yards with his feet. And believe me, reminded me a lot of Tyrod Taylor, the award winner. Look at this, bam, cut left, cut up field, slide, I was smart. Don't juke and spin. I know the temptation is there, but don't test that 60 carry rating. Don't fall for it. Look at this third and 20. No one's open. I scramble. No need to spin and juke. Zigzag left and right. Slide. Be smart. Take your yards and be smart about it, man. Because if you don't, stuff like this right here could happen. Right here, I should have ran out of bounds. I didn't. I fumbled. I was lucky. The ball went out of bounds. But sometimes you will not get lucky and stuff like this will happen. So be smart. As far as the bad plays, he did have one bad throw on the run right there. Just completely overthrown. But as you would expect right here, the deep throw. This is where he had his most you know, bad plays. And it's not even that surprising, you know, the 78 deep throw, of course, you're going to expect some to be overthrown or even sometimes even underthrown, so be aware of that. And as you would expect, where I had the most success with Marcus Mariota was throwing on the run. He is so fast, of course, you see right here, he gives you even more time to, to make a decision. And right here, look at square wide open, hits him in stride, which is what you want from a 90 throw on the run quarterback. But right here, square is not open. But the most important thing is you at least gave him a shot. That's all I ask for my quarterbacks when it comes to throwing on the run. If my receiver's not open, at least give him a chance. You know, don't throw it over his head or out of bounds. Let him jump up and fight for it. Here's another, here's another example. He wasn't open, but give him a shot to fight for it. And all of these throws are running to the right. So obviously running to the right is no problem. But right here, running to the left, no problem either. Under pressure, kind of off his back foot and still threw it perfectly on the sideline. But the play that sold me on him was this play right here. Look at this beautiful dot on the run down the field, man. That's the play that sold me on Mariota. So all in all, guys, a very deadly quarterback. And I've decided to keep Mariota for the time being. He does everything I need him to do. And he's very fast. I sold Cam New and I'm sticking with Mariota for, for now. And as you see right here, compared to the flashback RG3, RG3 beats him at, at pretty much everything, but not by much. And, you know, the price range is, is not even close. I mean... Mariota goes for like 60k. We all know his price will be dropping as time goes on. He just came out yesterday, so believe me, his price will keep dropping. And the quarterback that I compared him to the most was the award winner Tyrod Taylor. Look at this, they're so similar on paper. They both have the same short throw, the same mid throw, the same throw on the run, almost the exact same speed. So if you wanted to play with Tyrod Taylor but you can't afford him, I say go with uh, Marcus Mariota. There isn't really much of a difference in terms of how they play. So, anyways, guys. If you want to pick up Marcus Mariota, I say go for it. I mean, he's a very interesting quarterback, especially if he fits your scheme. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. My next review is actually going to be a dual review for Sammy Coates and Tevin Coleman. I know they're different positions, but you guys will see what I'm talking about. They're pretty much too many reviews crammed into one. But anyways, guys, if you like what you saw, don't forget to comment, to voice your opinion, like, to spread awareness, and subscribe so you'll be up to date with the content when it drops. And I'll see you boys later, man. Peace.